Hi you guys and welcome back to Warrington Filming, Painting and Decorating Trade Secrets. Okay, and today we're just going to do a little bit of a review and a bend test on the uh, roller cage for a 15 inch roller. Okay, now this is a, a roller cage, 15 inch roller cage and a roller sleeve. I use this every day of the week. Okay, um, mainly for like new property, etc. That's what I use it for. But it can be used for like, you know, uh, your own property or whatever. Right, so like I say, that's a 15 inch roller cage, right? This particular one I've had for about 15 years. I've got about two of these. Okay. Uh, Basically what you've got with this, you've got a screw-in connection here for your roller pole. Okay, so that screws in. Uh, you've got one pin here that's fixed that goes into your sleeve. And you've got another pin here that screws in and out. <coughs> so you can take your sleeve on and off. Okay, use this every day of the week. Absolutely brilliant for the kit. Okay, I know there's all different types. Uh, but that's the one, particular one I use every day of the week. Okay? Then what we've got is this particular one. Okay? Now I've had that for a, quite a long while as well, but I don't use it uh, very often. Uh, and there's a reason for that. Same again, 15 inch. Same with the pins on either end. So the difference with this is there's no screwing connection in there. Okay? No screwing. Now, you can get these little adapters, okay? Basically, you've got your screw connection there, and that slots into there, okay? And you push that in dead on, and put your sleeve on. Disadvantage with these is, what happens is, you'll be using this to do like, uh, rolling your walls and ceilings, etc. And when you dip it in your roller tray, after a period of time, that comes loose, okay? And you'll find you, you're dipping it in your roller tray to get loads of all the paint and just that comes off your roller. That comes out of the actual arm of the uh, cage side and you end up dropping your, your roller cage with your sleeve in the paint. So that can be a bit of a problem. I know they go in tight but they do, you know, you're dipping it in and out your paint, rolling the walls, ceilings and you dip it in and what happens, that comes out on your roller's pole that drops in your paint. So I don't use these anymore. Um, ideally, if you just want to paint one wall, you can actually just use it by hand as well. Okay, brilliant for that. Okay. Then you've got <coughs> this one. Exactly the same as this one. Okay. Exactly the same. Look. Disadvantage with this one is it bends. This actual aluminium arm here, your actual cage, where you can see that, but that bent already just there. All right, so let's just do a bit of a bend test, okay? You, you've got this one here, quite solid that is, okay? Quite solid. So not a bad roller when it comes to strength of the arm. Then you've got this one I use every day. Okay, I'm not going to take the arm off the sleeve off, but it would be a good idea, look. You can't bend that either, solid as a rock. And then you've got this one. I could just show exactly the same as the one I use every day. Disadvantage with this, I bought it off the internet. Okay, right, so there you can sleep us in there. Watch this, look at that, dead easy to bend. Oh. Now, when you're using this on a day to day basis, okay, when you're using this on a day to day basis, ceilings and walls, trust me, these start to bend out, okay. Before you know it, you're not getting a, a proper finish on your wall. 
So if you're buying these off the internet, beware. This actual aluminium frame is not going to be high strength aluminium, okay? So my advice was, would be don't buy them off the internet. Uh, try and get to like a Dulux centre, Crown centre or somewhere like that. Buy it from the shop. At least if you think it's going to bend, you can always take it back, but you can always give it a bit of a test in the shop, see how strong it is, okay? So don't buy them off the internet because uh, like they'll just bend through through day-to-day -day use okay so you've got that particular type where you put the end in wouldn't recommend them for like day-to-day -day use because like your pole will just slip out of there and give you a problem you end up dropping that all in the paint spend about half an hour cleaning all the paint off it you've got these brilliant rollers but roller cages when it comes to design but um, if you you know beware if you buy them off the internet because if they bend they're going to give you problems. Okay, and then you've got the one I use every day. Okay, I've had that for a long time, but you can still pick these high strength aluminium cages up uh, from Jewel or Crown, like I say. Okay, so that's basically a review for you on the uh, 15 inch roller cage. Okay. So, there you go. So, thanks to all my subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe yourself. Thumbs up, comment, most welcome. Until next time, cheers.